Hiya and welcome to Raimondo Lee Travel. So today we're going to be taking a walk around the Haven site called Little Sea in Weymouth. So apologies if you do get bits where I've cut the sand out but it was an extremely windy week during our visit. But I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's insightful and gives you a little bit more of an understanding of the site itself. Thank you and enjoy. Same thing. Same in his club. It's not at the minute. It's only on certain days. No, but if it's wet, it won't be open. No, probably not. It's not that big, is it? But no, it's quite. It's about six pound each. You, you and your husband could do it. I think you get an hour. Yeah, but. That's the activity range, look. Look at this. Football courts over there, look. This is the crazy goal. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit water logged, logged isn't it? Four by four, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a. Right. John's.
right, folks, I'm hoping this sound's going to sound all right on this. So, um, here at Literacy, we're in the Meadows area. So I'm just going to show you partially the area that we're in. Okay, so we're in the Greenlands area, so you can see what that looks like. It looks like the Greenlands doesn't have concrete parking like the Meadows does. Not in all sections anyway. So we'll go this way, yeah. So you can see what's on the cameras. To do voice over. I'm not going to do voice over on this. Hey. Yeah, it's right on top of that hill that cash is. There's absolutely no way we're going to be able to do that. <laughs> not today. Text him in time. West Acres right now. Yeah. No, it's a bit more open, definitely. On this section. See that, did you? <laughs> you saw the boat drive around the side. Down here straight right now. Mm. Another one there, look. Now we're coming up to Lagoon Close. I'm guessing this is a private area. So that's the West Acres. Now we're going to go into the Lagoon Close. Give you a look around Lagoon Close. There's some nice ones up here. Yeah. That's for sale that one. That's a double double pitch. Double. 
another one down there. Just gonna check that one out because they've, they've got something in their window. Those Halloween stuff. That's lovely, that one. I'm going close 34, but it's some serious money for that one. It's got a sign on the window for that one. There's obviously someone in it, so. Hey, ninety thousand for that one. I can earn you up to fifteen thousand pounds a year. Yeah, it's nice and fair. Because this is the toilet area, is that right? It's down there and down there. Must be fun, isn't it? Yes. Well, there's clouds down there. Yeah. Bloody chance, it's a fall down again. Oh, the drawstring's gone on. So I've come back round to the uh, West Acres now. So now we're going to take a little walk up to the uh, touring area um, and just show you around the, the touring area. Uh, we was here during a pretty nasty storm so a lot of people had actually uh, began packing up and leaving. Um, it was filmed during October last year uh, so um, I will do a bit of a uh, music instrumental over the top now for you to enjoy while you watch uh, this section. So once again, thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I will be sharing plenty of walks that we did in the area and a few activities that we did as well. So yeah, I wouldn't mind if you subscribed if you're new here and also check out my drive around. I did a drive around in the car as well for you to enjoy. Thank you.
Okay, so we're heading up towards the ranger station. There is warning about going on there because they're very soft sand. <coughs> so we're going to head up, find this nature trail, and perhaps walk around it. We'll, uh, I'll give it a look when we get up there. Hopefully it should be okay. I'll give you an idea of what's up here. For those of you that like to take your dog for a walk in the morning. On our afternoons. Here's the ranger station. <coughs> okay, so I tried to get a drone shot today, but again, my drone is not happy. It does not want to connect to the controller. I don't know what's happening, so I'm gonna to have to have a look at it and see if I can try and reset it or reset the controller so um here's a shot from up the hill beautiful shot i just spoke to that couple by walking down there lovely couple i had a chat with them for five ten minutes about the area and drones and what have you they were quite interested oh, i said i can't even get the drone to fly so i just want to get a shot of the site but anyway i think this gives you a bit of a view and there is other videos online but i have done a drive around the actual site so it's worth checking that out definitely check the drive around the site and i've done a doing this walk around or as well so i think the nature trails up here so shall we go and check it out and see if we can get around the back Let's see if there's a way around, or is it just a dead end? I do believe there's an nature trail. Oh, it's a bit boggy. Oh, I'm not sure. very boggy that is the trail so uh, the nature trail if that is the nature trail it's way too boggy to walk around but you can walk on the coastal path which is uh, just up that up that hill so i walk back down to the little sea campsite and see if we can walk around the right hand side here but this is probably the best weather we've had um so far this week it's been absolute awful weather but today's more than made up for it it's been a beautiful day today i've spotted a way in a lovely caravans up this end of the park. So let's have a walk up here. I did drive the car at one section of this. That's some absolutely lovely caravans. Get me drone up, but I can show you what it looks like. 
from here. If we can get a good view. And I'll walk all the way along this path. Alright folks. So a bit further up there. There's the Muga. Kids playing football down there. Working my way all the way to the highest point. That's a good view. So these all are really nice mobiles with the deck in right at the top with the best views. Best views by far of the whole park and complex. Right, I'm at the far end now. And Westfield's up there. Where our caravan is. Our caravan's up this section. So I'm going to bring you down to where the nature trail is if you want to give it a go. It's actually impossible for us to do it today just because the sheer amount of um, sludge and muck at the top of this trail. But the trail is basically the top of this hill. And it will take you all around the back. But obviously, it's not gravelled all the way around. Although, looking at that, you would think it is. Well, we got to the far end of it, and it definitely wasn't. And there's a style there, if you want to keep on walking through the fields. So as you've seen a bit further back, um, the the way that you walk your dog was really, really muddy. Uh, so I wasn't able to do it. Uh, basically takes you on a country walk around the back of the site. So um, as I've walked back around to where the top of the caravan is, I do find this route up to join the path so that's what we're doing now i'm taking you up the hill between the caravans to join the actual um path that you would normally take from one end of the caravan site all the way around the back to the field so the path from earlier brings you out the actual proper gravel path Proper gravel path actually takes you yeah. to this. The old tank. It doesn't go any further. And you walk around there, which is obviously very squelchy. Okay. Alright. So this is the path that connects to at the other end of the this back row. So I did the circuit of this in the car. So I came up here. Went round in a block, but um, yeah. So if you want to do the nature trail and it's not boggy, it seems like one end is and then the rest of it's okay. You head straight up there to the left. And this is the path that will take you all the way back down, down to the car park, the main car park. Disabled access car on there. So now we're in Way Valley area. These have all got ramps. We've got ramps in this area. So 
show you. That was where your valley have just come out of. Disability caravans, or uh, disability access caravans, seem to be in that area. And then Wave Valley continues all the way up. So yeah, I hope that's given you... So back at the car park. So I hope that's given you some sort of idea of uh, the park. There's a bit of a walk through the Greenland here. And we are fairly close to our caravan there. Which I think is yeah, there's the path down the front side of it. So yeah, I hope that was insightful. Give you some idea of what you can expect. Here at Little Sea. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.